Hello everyone, I'm James Ru from DeanStar. Today I will introduce about the technical training, which is uh, entry level training for our DeanStar Analog Gateway. Here we can see if you got the, if you access our website, you can see there are a lot of the uh, models for Analog Gateway, okay? And uh, see here, this one. I will use the 4FXO Analog Gateway as a demo purpose, okay? And uh, there are a lot of the features, uh, data sheet, uh, documentation, and uh, all the things here. And uh, what about the analog gateway? Analog gateway actually is for FXO, for example, like uh, here we can see that uh, uh, there are a lot of the uh, scenario application for analog gateway, okay? Basically, like this, this is overview in general, okay? This is F FXO gateway and connect to IPvX. After that, IPvX may be under IPvX got a lot of extensions. Here we can got the SIP phones and the soft phone maybe, or FXS. And uh, here, for example, if you want to make incoming call, going call, you have to use the PSD line, connect to the FXO, you know, analog with FXO gateway. After that, our analog gateway FXO analog gateway will connect to IPVS by SIP trunk. So later we'll, we will test it for the training purpose. Okay, we will give you the very basic uh, scenario and then the very simple setup to make incoming call. For example, in the internal soft phone, make outgoing call to PVS. After that, go to my mobile phone. And uh, other testing scenario is for, I will use my mobile phone, make a call to the FXO Analog gateway. After MPX gateway, we forward to PBS and forward to the extensions. So before you set up, that, uh, you have to set up the SIP trunk between the uh, FXO and the IP PBX, and uh, you also have to configure the, your FXO for core routing purpose. Okay, uh, and then in the IPBX, you have to configure your maybe core routing incoming call going call that's all so you can build up the whole system you by using our analog gateway okay of course there are a lot of the scenario you can see that uh, it's a hybrid rate environment you can use the fxo fss and uh, and so on so there are a lot of the user case you can use that uh, you always will come to check our website we will give you more detail about this okay let's start now this is the uh, analog gateway. We can see that this is the uh, system information. We can see here, this is a model we use. Okay. And uh, all things here. And you have a uh, phone number, DNS server set up already. And uh, all basic things here. And here we can see, if you want to see more detail, here we can see that this is analog. We, we, because I use the for FXO gateway, we can, we can see the port numbers. Please make sure uh, we, we use the port default. The start number is uh, zero, not one, okay? Don't be confused. So here we can see it's a whole up state already, which means like uh, uh, my PSD line, PSD cable is connected to the uh, our uh, FXO port already. So it's on hook, okay? Later we will we'll change the state to UVV test, okay? And uh, after that, I think you have to go to the port, then set up the port. You can see I use the port zero already. I set up outdoor, you know, outdoor number A six two for the incoming call. If you don't set it, the system or gateway will indicate the voice message ask you down number or down extension number. Okay, please make sure you set up this. After that, you have to set up the call routing. Okay. Under the core routing, you have a uh, IP trunk. It's here for IP trunk is for just the, for point to the your PBS and IP address and the port. We can see we, we use the UC two hundred as a uh, testing purpose. So incoming call will forward to the our PBS UC two hundred and then uh, extension will pick up call. Okay. So we can other other setup is you have to set up the IP to tail routing. IP to tail also means like uh, for example you call from PBS to analog gateway, like this one. Okay, if the IP to tail routing means means this, 
okay yeah for for example you got the fx uh, ex extensions call to ipbx and the call to tail or fx zone this is a ip to tail routing okay and uh, we can see that uh, here we can see the call from uc200 to fxo means like uh, if extension will make outgoing call to pbs after that you forward to fxo so here we can we, we use the ship trunk already the ship trunk i created before here this is one and uh, i use the port number here i use the port zero because i i want to use the port zero to make outgoing call okay this is ip to tail and uh, another way is uh, for tail to ip tail to ip means like uh, this one tail to ip means like uh, any call from outside you know uh, call to fxo or psd cable then psd line psd will forward to ip which means tail to for ip so here we can see we can modify we can see that the call incoming from the port zero after then forward to ip trunk IP trunk means point to the uh, PBS. Okay, of course you also can set up the SIP server, but uh, you have to set up here. I set also set the SIP server. It's no problem. Okay, you can do that. So this is very simple. This is for uh, analog gateway set up already. So after that, of course you have to configure your PBS and uh, configure your PBS, make incoming call, outgoing call, routings, any PBS we can support. For example, TCX, Asterisk, Free Space, and other PBS, even the Vita PBS, Roncon PBS, Grand Stream PBX, and so on, no problem. We can support all the open standard SIP IP PBX, okay. After that, I use the SIP phone already. This SIP phone I registered to my UC already. Here is my UC, of course. Sorry, I think this is a Chinese GUI, so it doesn't matter, I think. So here we can set the two routing ready and the incoming call I think you especially you, you set up incoming call here and outgoing call here and uh, from IAD to UC you can see the whole thing set up ready and from IAD after that forward to 200 so it's very simple let's say I register already we can see that my stager is on already and uh, I test outgoing call first. Let me call my mobile phone. Connect it. Okay. I see the call in progress. Okay. Hello? 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 We can see here the outgoing call is made already. We can. Please make sure here we can see this, uh, the status is uh, IP to tail already, it means uh, from PBS to uh, FX already. And uh, the hot port status is uh, changed already. So we can see the concurrent call is from 200 is my extension and call to my mobile phone, okay? And we also can see the RTP sessions. This is my destination number, this source number. And so on. So that's all. This is for outgoing. So this is for outgoing call. I just now I use the my extensions. Of course, you can also any physical extensions, SIP extension, FSS to make outgoing call. But it very depends your UC or PBS setup. Okay, I will test another way. I make incoming call. Let's say I make incoming call. See what happened. The incoming call will forward to my PBS after that my sensor will ring up. Okay. So you can see here, you can see here my SIP, my mobile phone calling already. So call to 200. Okay, I answer that. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Testing, testing. You can see here is tinged already. The status is tail to IP because I use my mobile phone call to PSD after then forward to IP. Okay. It's uh, very accurate, very real time. It's very good for troubleshootings. Okay, this is for example like an incoming call from uh, FXO. The source is my extension. After that, then forward to my destination here. Because I set up the destination, you you can see here this number. Actually, it's incoming to the my PBS already. So we still can see the call record here. 
and the the call is set up in PBS side. So it's very accurate, very complete information for the SIP and PBS and so on. So you can see here we set up the call and the extension is here. And also use the use the call to test uh, our SBC ID. I have them post data changed to by default. Okay, so it's uh, back to normal status, and the uh, current call is empty. RTP is sensing empty already. So because call up uh, call is clear, you also can see from CDR there is very complete information about the call record, how many call from the destination or a source and the um, codex and so on. So it's very easy to debug your system. Okay, so far I introduced my of the FXO port and uh, tell you how to use up FXO in different scenario and uh, tell you all the very key setup sessions for core routings, the two direction routings, IP trunks, and even the port number. So this is a very basic or entry level training. And later I will cover more about the effects or other uh, features you need you want. Okay. So if you got any problem or any issues using my our PBS or our analog phones, your analog gateways, you always will come to contact us. Maybe contact our sales or contact our support. We'll give you the uh, very professional, very sufficient support. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.